two and a half hours to three hours is a kind of an activity where we all get involved, we all participate, we all feel that we are one, we are together, we are here for a very special purpose not only learn and gain knowledge, but we also here to develop our own self, not just a mere acquisition of information, but a kind of a process which will happen in you where you will be transformed in this eight weeks international training program for volunteers who would like to dedicate, commit themselves like you for a very noble cause. What is that noble cause? Palliative care. Can you repeat with me? Palliative Louder, little louder, very good. So, what I'll be doing now with you, or rather we together do, is to start the journey. To start the journey, there are few steps. I'm sure you all agree with me. Suppose you want to travel from one place to another place. What you will do? You will have your mind set. You will plan. You will do certain things necessary for your journey. You will prepare for good things and bad things. You will also acquire information which is necessary. There are so many things. So think that this eight weeks journey will lead you to a bigger journey for your rest of your life for a noble cause. And in the process of serving the needy, serving the people who really need you, will give you the utmost satisfaction and the joy that whatsoever the money you have will not bring this happiness. But the joy you see in the people you give your hand, support, help, that will give you the utmost happiness. Friends, suppose I want to invite you for a dinner tonight in a very good restaurant. You all agree with me that I should have money in my pocket to pay for the bill. You agree with me? Yes or no? Yes. <laughs> Friends, the same example I'm using. If you want to give joy and happiness to the others, you should, have, you should be joyful. Like I should have money to pay for the bill for the dinner. So what we need at this stage is we should be happy. How can you be happy? Then we get even more pressure. So the, the point is not to talk to ourselves, be calm, and then thing, uh, things will get into this place. Okay. Very good, very good. One has to be calm. You know, one should not load our mind with too much, you know, thinking Stop process. Thinking, yeah. Become happier. Thank you. The young girl wants to say something. Yes. Uh, as I think sometimes I, I don't feel like I'm not happy. So I would think that I can pass everything. And if I think like that, I feel I can pass it and I will be happy. Okay, she, she said something very interesting. Every time she may not feel be very happy, 
but then if she start doing things what she wants to and slowly slowly you know she is able to do things what she wants to the happiness comes you know very good very good friends i think in this journey of volunteering especially for palliative care what is important is togetherness not only with the patient but as a team i would like all of you to think together to do things together you agree with me togetherness is a very important aspect in volunteering and in palliative care how many of you agree with me raise your hands can you say yes yes, yes. then i would like i would like we have five groups here group a b c and d i think a b c five groups one a b c and d i'm sorry four so we we now we now see which group gives crazy answers what they think about togetherness what is togetherness and how important togetherness in volunteering and palliative care so i will ask or you can you can volunteer i want to see who volunteers to answer their thoughts on but this is a physical togetherness are we mentally together yes that Because is important it started that the president of the foundation he wants to contribute his knowledge uh to us this is emotional uh, uh right not not only physical so it at uh, the start of togetherness that the one with um really good knowledge willingly give away his knowledge to us so it the start already togetherness uh Uh, is better than isolation. Togetherness uh, in business is we can call as synergy. That is one plus one is should more than two. Okay. Okay. Uh, more than two here uh, stands for more than just uh, any any count countable things, but but these others like any uh, spirit, the mental, and also. Uh, like uh the any mercy something like this mm -hmm. uh -huh. and it will help and support us to uh to approach the target easily and 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 faster than it ever thank okay. you okay okay some of the benefits of together
more than a group. It's not like um, we are um, come here and just gather, grouping together, but it's more than like why we are here, what is the purpose of our coming, and what we want to contribute actually in this training. Uh, so it's more like mentality. That's why we, that's called togetherness. Thank you. Yeah, well, uh, I think uh, it's very interesting uh, to note here is that I'm actually coming from Bangkoko. So it's very, very far from Bangkok. But when I come here and I see people from different uh, countries, different walks of life, you know, when I talk with some, they are from very, very diverse fields and they're still here. So I think, and we never talked before, but they're still here and we all together in this room and, and we are very motivated uh, by the president and we are all here. And I think the basic reason is that we all want to contribute and have the same ideology. We want to contribute to make things better because we see it every day and we want to say why it has to be like this and we want to make it different. And that idea kind of brings it together from very far places and we are here. So I think that's, uh, that's something else. I think Group A, my friend has shared, not just that we happen to have and the things that you've been taught and I've been taught, but we are the same thing. And I think it's good to sort of once in a while come together and realize that we do have the same objectives. We all are human beings and we all have the same fears. I mean, there's no difference between us. And I think that's the togetherness, like sort of being reminded that we all come from the same place. And it's good that, you know, people actually join and come together for that matter. So, good. Thank you. Uh, you. Uh, you can call me Road in Thai. Um, I am a certified personal trainer. I teach people to exercise. Uh, I used to have a problem in health and uh, doctors, three doctors told me to get operation, which I refused and I start to exercise and I was lucky. I discovered, uh, I recovered uh, fully and so I became a certified trainer to really learn about how to exercise properly, properly. And also to teach yoga. I became a yoga instructor to teach people to be flexible. And I'm very happy with my life now, being able to help people to gain better health. And I wish to do the same in palliative care. Hello, my name is Chok Chai Ekataksin. I'm not a friend of Taksin, but it is my last name. <laughs> I was born in the south of Thailand called Patalung. So it is Taksin is in the south, come from the south. Um, now I'm 45 years. Um, my family is vegetarian, so I'm vegan. Uh, actually, I'm, we are a healthy family, but because of the mistake of the doctor, my mom um, has a stroke and she's in bed. So I try to learn how to be, how to help my mom. So I, I try to subscribe this program before, but it's not free. It's <laughs> now when I, I search here, it's volunteer, it's free. So now I'm good, good, good. I'm here. Good. You should know I'm the first one of this member. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon. Uh, I am Punjavi Wong In. Uh, for now, I am uh, work in uh, freelance, and I work in a factory or, or company is more than uh, 30, 30 years. And at that time, I never uh, do the best or do the thing for the social. So I I aim my uh, my. <laughs> I aim that uh, I, I, have a, I have a good chance to, to do uh, the good thing for the social and for the volunteer that is in my, in my mind. When I, I see this uh, program, and so that uh, I, I, I really appreciate to enjoy, to, to join uh, this uh, program. And I hope that when, uh, next time when we do this uh, volunteer, uh, work in a volunteer that is when we go to the hospital uh, for the for normally that when we, we go to the hospital we not uh, cannot uh, see the 
happiness in the uh, Apartheid. So when we, we, we work for the volunteer and take care of them, so I think that we can see the, the smile in the pattern face. I think like that. Okay, thank you. Good, good, good. Good afternoon. My name is Vilai uh, Arvo for uh, company. Uh, my friend suggests me she had attended um, the course and she suggests that um, I should be able to learn a lot of things and which uh, should uh, help me uh, taking care of myself when I become of age and can uh, and I can also take care of my parents when they are old. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, my name is Om. Um, uh, my nickname, my name, my real name is Ratapat, but you can call me Om. Um. My job is related in two sectors: it property and uh, with financial sectors. And um, I, I do it together for many years. Uh, but I have a lot of hobbies, but mostly mainly in sport. Like I'm running uh, regular. My maximum uh, distance is marathon, 42.195 kilometers. Uh, but normally I run 10 kilometers or half marathon. But I, I try to keep healthy because um, I think it's the main thing to keep both your mind and you are physically healthy. And, and um, the reason I came to this uh, particular training because I believe in, in, in like uh, this kind of uh, volunteer and the cause and myself I don't take uh, many medicine when I am I feel you I try to cure with other things except medicine unless I need to and my, my mom is uh, not well now so I need to uh, take care of her and, and also my dad passed away, passed away because of cancer so that experience I have with myself so I'm glad to be part of this cause and I will Good. take uh, the best that I can do. Thank good, you very much. Good, good, good. Good, well, good afternoon, everyone. My name is uh, Navid Hadi. I have been here for eight years. Uh, I am originally from Iran. Um, I work uh, in IT industry, and uh, the reason I am here today is because, um, well, I have been involved in meditation uh, for a couple of years, uh, and also I'm a Reiki practitioner. So. The title of the, well, I mean, the titles that they're going to teach us here, actually, it sounds quite interesting to me. And uh, that's the first reason. The second reason is, uh, by faith, I'm Muslim. In Quran, there is a sentence that says, uh, you are from me, you will return to me. Uh, which means that um, as we consider God and, uh, uh, as one, it means that our body goes to the earth, our soul return to God. By, but in a process, to return to God, uh, the soul has to be pure. It has to be God. By, by meaning, it means that we have to become more human. We have to learn to not just to uh, be individualism, to, you know, like, um, to become what we want to become, but also to share. Because God is singular. We are all singular. It means that we all share common things. Not just in terms of being human, but everything. Everything has a soul. Everything is energy. So, yes, I thought a discourse more would help me at this stage of my life to become closer to, to what a human should be. Thank you. Yes, hi. Good afternoon. My name is Matias. Um, I'm Argentinian, but I come from Pacanong. And um, <laughs> nothing. I've been living here for a long time now, four years. My friend Navin invited me. And the main thing is sort of like throughout the years, I've sort of come to realize that education and the things that I've accumulated, that none of it is kind of being worthwhile. This sort of seems to be like the first thing that I come to that has got some real knowledge to give sort of things, actually helpful and nice. And yeah, I mean, I started hotel and tourist management, which just got taught to exchange stuff for money. It's, it wasn't that nice. This is much nicer. It's good to have some real knowledge once in a while. Thank you. <laughs> My name is Aphon Kamgon. My nickname is Or. I work at a nursing faculty of Mahidol University. Before, before I work as an instructor, instructor, I work as a nurse, a general nurse at Chiang Mai Hospital uh, with some reason. I, I think each year I can provide nursing care for patients 
is not a lot. It allows thousands person per year. I think how to uh, the way to help more uh, more uh, patient. I think if I will be an instructor, I will produce a nurse that uh, who will carrying patient uh, uh, instead of me. Uh, totally, I can help the patient three three hundred thousand per year. I think it's very benefit for me. Yeah. My name is Sang Tawan, or just Sang for short. I was originally born in Anchorage, Alaska, and that's a place where nobody actually wants to live. <laughs> and then, well, I've been in Thailand for almost a decade, and I originally saw this course as an advert in Bangkok Post, and I thought it would be a great opportunity for me to meet new people, gain more knowledge, and just broaden my horizons. So thank you. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Mutita. I'm first year medical student at Chulalongkorn University. Uh, so I'm a student, so I am here to learn. Please think of me at your journey. I hope to learn everything from you as much as possible. Good afternoon. My name is Patomlat Amonsin. My nickname is Tangmo. It means watermelon. I'm a student study at about public health. I came here because I want to learn new things and take this knowledge to help people around me. Thank you. Hello. Uh, uh, good afternoon. My name is Chachwan Sunhon Hanit. You can call me Go. I work as the analyst. I, uh, for my interest, is to seek for any available uh, information to uh, use, uh, use, use useful for myself and also for for others beside me. Uh, one of the one of the interesting topic is is the palliative program, uh, which uh, answer my point. And I think after course after this course, I can bring this to help others beside me. Thank you language I research how people from different linguistic backgrounds manage to to construct and make meaning of the word and you said this morning dr. Mano that there's no more effective medicine than words words heal but words can also damage and I think that was very powerful and you were followed by do, uh, professor dr. Kumar and he said um, he talked about empathy as the foundation of civilization. And I said, oh my goodness, this is my research. I've been trying to research empathy and how people use language to do those things. And while sitting here, I said, well, you know, it's going to be eight weeks before I get to apply this thing. I said, no, I can apply what I learned today. When I email my dad today, because I learned that, you know, elderly people get depressed and I'll use words to heal and make him happy. So, thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Chuezin Jo. You can address me, Chuezin. Um, I'm from Burma. I have been here for exactly one year uh, this month, working as a research fellow in Mahidol University. Uh, the reason why I joined this training is I was um, previously I worked as an HIV doctor. So I want to learn more about um, this training this, because this is the palliative care. Most of uh, my patients are exactly um, chronic patients, so I want to learn more about this training. So please come in. I'll be here together with you all. Thank you. Um, good, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Onuma, or uh, my nickname is Mai. Um, I just been promoted to be a head of the department of the company uh, with a new position, um, pressure and um, expectation came along, right? Um, I work very hard and of course I, I have no time for myself and for a lack of exercise. I have very often um, a headache and stomachache. I think it's because of, because of uh, stress. So I told myself that it's time to, um, to reaccess or to reorganize my life. I think the knowledge that I will receive in this course will, can help me a lot 
that I can 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 change to occur, to adjust my life. And it will be even better if I can share the same to my family, friends, and colleagues. Um, I am not, uh, graduated, and I am teaching music at Ekamai International School. But since the contract is ending, and I wake up at 5:30 every morning, like, <laughs> not every morning, but most of the days to go to work, and it wasn't a good life. And um, and also, um, I'm keeping myself busy, and this um, course came along, and so I decided to join, and because my mom was uh, in the course last year, and she introduced me. My name is Gareth. Uh, I just go along with the flow of life. I don't have many questions about it. <laughs> so where I'm from doesn't seem to matter. Where I'm going is not for me to know, and where I am is with all my new friends, and I am very grateful. Thank you, sir. Now, now, wait a minute. I think one more important thing, more than just inventing the instrument to help the patient, is to understand them. Yes, and the last is from my professor, one face. He said that if you see someone is drowning, and you have ability to help them, just don't be hesitate to help them. Hello everyone, um, I'm Anne-Marie. Uh, my nickname is Amarin, because I love Tamarin. <laughs> and uh, I had the good fortune to meet Dr. Uh, Manu when I was down in Pattaya. Um, he was giving a conference on, with other expats on palliative care. And um, I am in the field of the biomedical as well. Interesting, we're sitting next to each other. Um, and I do a lot of consultant work for uh, medical tourism and also behavioral health uh, related facilities, particularly in Thailand. And I was a former ISB student many, many, many years ago. And if this, this is any consolation to any of you, I do hope that all of you continue your wonderful work in the field of medical care. I had the most extraordinary uh, experience with my own mother here so many years ago to where I now want to bring her um, here at 83 to retire. And um, it is because of the wonderful care that she had gotten uh, when she had a terrible car accident. Um, and uh, I would love now to have her come into this country and have her end of her life here. And it was that influence from um, primarily the, the the values of both your physical, spiritual, and your mental uh, concentrations that I decided that this is where I'd like her to end her, her last years. So thank you. Thank you. Hello, everybody. My name is Anong Chin Si Suk. I'm working at the Bangkok Bank. <laughs> the reason that I join with this program because I want to help others to make their life become better. But this program is in English. It's difficult to me. I just know today my English is so weak. <laughs> but I will try to improve my English later. And please don't call me F you <laughs> if you have any questions. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Angola, or you can call me Matum, or in short, Matt. Yeah, the, I, I am 20 years old and just graduated from Kasesat University in economics. The reason I attend this program is because my mom is diagnosed with cancer, and she is a fighter because she never showed that she is weak to me. She never showed her feeling that she is weak, and I always give her a support. Therefore, I, I want to help and give support to others who are suffering like my mom. And also, I want to get the experience and knowledge from expert people about care training to take care of my mom. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Natira. My name is Poi. I'm 18 years old. 
I graduated from Udom Vidya School. I want to do some. I want to do something for the society. And so, so, so this call is the opportunity for me to help and give give support, Usher, and I come with. My sister, thank you. Friends, welcome back. Friends, can we start? Yes. Good that you digested again. You got something, so you have to digest again. Friends, uh, now I have requested all of you. To spend 10 minutes, each one of you, together with your friend whom you spent 10 minutes, can come and stand here as a pairs, please. That means you have not really talked together. You did not. Follow the instructions. <laughs> Never mind. But it is a journey where we have to learn that what is important. I, I did not hear. Yes. Little louder. Yes. Now, shall we start learning how to work together? So, can I request, can I request from each group, A, B, C, D, can you form six and six, each group, two groups, A, you have two groups, B, you have two, C, you have two groups, and D, you have two. Each group should consist between six to eight people. Can you, can you form can you form a little closer? Can you turn your chairs? Can you turn your chairs? Maybe volunteers can help. Volunteers can help. A member in the team is acceptable. So you come together as a group to really make a big difference for your group. So the goal is to actively participate among yourselves come to an understanding what you would like to share to this big group, to other groups, your own ideas of this particular topic which I am going to share into, to each group which you are not aware. You know, suppose in group A, I will share two topics where you are not aware. Your topics are not aware or not known to the other groups. Yeah. 
What, what makes a good caregiver? You know, what, what, what it takes to be a caregiver? There's a lot of sacrifice too, to be able to be able to sacrifice. Who's your monitor? Who's your monitor? Yeah. 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 We were given a scare giving and we named our group 
caregiver. All right. So right there. Uh, we started with defining it. So the first question that came is, what is it? So what we understand is caregiving is a, is a human process. Uh, it's humane process. It can be for anything. And it's about sharing and giving. It's a combination of those things to, to express support, to express emo uh, emotion and empathy. And it can, be, it can be in any situation. And it's a very natural thing. So that's what we defined as what is it. Second is, uh, actually, we said, like, who needs it? So uh, it was quite simple to kind of come up with this. It can be both in a medical uh, situation, a non-medical situation. It can be human, non-human. It can be anyone who needs some kind of support in terms of uh, you know, help, basically. And third, we came up what are the qualities needed to be able to accomplish being as a caregiving person or, or, or just to define it. So it should be that we like someone who loves to help, someone has the passion to understand the person, to be there, to listen. I mean, that's a very strong point we found that it has to be have a good listening capabilities. Should have an emotional strength so that there can be very positive and productive uh, you know, answers or comments. Because if we are not able to say something nice or we are not able to say something, I would say, productive or positive, we can harm that person and or the, whatever the cause is and, and cause some other problems. So it has to be positive and productive. And it has to have a lot of involvement. We, we shared some examples where the friend keep on calling, so after some time, the other person just uh, you know unplugs the phone. So there, there are situations like that, but you know sometimes we are not prepared for it. So we just don't want to do it. So involvement and should be always accessible. So that's about the qualities needed. Why? Uh, then the question was why we do it, why we, we, we care giving. And the basic answer is very easy. It's like being human and social. It uh, gives a feeling of fulfillment and involvement, being part of the society. So that's kind of defined it. And we set up examples, uh, uh, like who do it. Uh, so those are usually the parents, friends, doctors, educators, uh, someone who's maybe suffering through the same situation. So they can be helpful, they can be caregivers to others. And we actually come up with some questions we can answer. So there's a question for, for the group, for everyone here. Uh, there are two, two questions. And that is that, should, be, should it be one-sided? Caregiving should be one-sided, or it should be two-sided? And the second one we couldn't answer is that, should caregiving be given to those who don't even want to be helped, but we feel that they need to be helped. Well, our topic is the importance of teamwork. As we know that teamwork is not individual work, so teamwork is like work. Um, for our group, uh, for example, in palliative care, if, if we have some case about illness people, how we know who is the right person to talk with the illness person, right? So teamwork is important, like we can share the idea with our team, like brainstorming and different people, different thinking will have like stand and weakness. And then we can return when we got the idea, we can return to talk with the illness people. So, and for teamwork, we have to have the same goal. When we have the same goal, we will, we will know the point, how to get the point to achieve. And for teamwork, we, we need to have a leader and some fellow to support the team as well. Thank you. Hello. Our topic's group, our group's topic is good values in volunteering. Well, in, in terms of volunteering that we understand is uh, the things that we do without benefit and not concerning about the feedback and that we do to improve the quality of life, to make people happier. And this will come from the generosity and the empathy mind. When with 
especially the clear mind, the clear conscious mind, without benefit at all. And the happier, who, who are happier? We have the three words in brief. A little bit joke from one of our members is that win, win, win. Who wins? Guess. <laughs> the first one is the receiver, the one that we help them. They are happy. And the second win is the caregiver. Like us here, we are volunteers, right? All togetherness brings happiness. So the third win will be you and you, the organizer here. That brings us here today. Thank you very much. So we, we have win, win, win for the values of volunteering. And may I add something? The world now needs help, you know. Since some years ago, people make the world like what we, it happened to us. The, the global warming, the tsunami, and the earthquake, many things that happen from our hands. And now the world needs help from you and you and everybody here. We promise you, after the course, we will go distribute our life in some way to our family, our society, and this world to help them in some way, to heal the world. Can you sing the song? <laughs> Heal the world, make it a better place for you and for me and the entire human race. La, 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 la. Well done, well done, well done. Good afternoon again. Uh, my group uh, is uh, about uh, spiritual support in caring. Okay, so we separate in uh, two different uh, patients and people who have to take care, uh, people who, who can talk with us uh, in verbal, uh, they are people who are unconscious. So the first thing we have to understand them, the condition, both physically and mind, and also understand the family of them. And because not only the people we're taking care of, because if we are not the family members, and the one they are get used to is the family members. So we have to understand about the family members also, and uh, to understand them by verbal or nonverbal, by uh, notice or the reaction, by see to the eye, by from our heart, you know, from heart to heart, and by touching or whatever. The first thing is to understand people who we have to care, and the family of them also. And then um, we take action to support spiritual way and by talking or uh, encouraging them in positive way. And uh, like I, I give you an example. There's a movie, a Spanish movie called Talk to Her. It's about the lady who fall into a coma and she, she's unconscious. There are two ladies, One, uh, both of them fall into coma and they are male nurse. One male nurse fell in love with a lady, and every day he came to, to her to take care of her and talk to her every single day. Talk about his life, about her, her dancing. Every day, he never stopped talking to her. And even though she cannot talk to him, but uh, consciously she can feel. And he touched her every day he, he, he come, and she become better. And finally, she recovered. But at the same time, the other ladies dying. Okay, so uh, that's why we, I, I mean, about the supportive in spiritual way. And we can do in many, many things like, uh, like talking and touching and open the music that they like. And not only that, we have to come to them with a positive feeling, give them the energy. And, and also the family member not bring them any painful or sadness. Have to be cheerful and brightness of the life. That the spiritual way we can make a support. And I think it's very important and to support everyone with spiritual way. Thank you. And so what our group got is working together to help patients. And at first when we discussed the our group, what would be the best way to help the patients? Um, as in working together, we thought that the ultimate goal would be we would have to 
um, provide the patients with a better quality of life. In essence, we have to give them hope, try to alleviate their pain. And so um, after discussing, we thought that the best way uh, from working together in order to give patients hope is that a variety of disciplines need to come together, collaborate, and talk together and make a conclusion. Okay. Uh, well, <laughs> I, I will talk to you about the people who in charge in working together to help a patient. Well, basically we have a doctor, nurse, and physiology, but uh, in groups we discussed that uh, they have many um, people <laughs> function. <laughs> function that can help a uh, patient get better, uh, include family member, community, and healthcare support system, social, uh, social. <laughs> Social worker, <laughs> volunteer, like us, and uh, we have a support group that uh, mean the patient that who uh, suffer of the same disease discuss about that disease together. <laughs> okay. <laughs> In conclusion, um, <laughs> so well in conclusion, in working together, there's going to be a variety of disciplines that come together in order for a conclusion to be made. So the best possible treatment will be made from collaborative talking and, and applying knowledge from various fields. So that's it. Thank you. <laughs> Give them a big clap. They're young and they did very well. Our group, we had uh, the, it is about the attention to someone. The caring is about the attention to someone and it's all kind of intention which expressing by touch, touching, talking, feeling, and also attention to. Another is being selfless and be the one who give, being the giver and the from another opinion is about listening and understanding to the patient. We all discuss about all of these opinions which conclude them into the importance of caring is about something, is about the awareness of where the patient is and we control our emotion and thoughts before we pass them through each of patient. And the most important reasons of caring, we're giving them the reasons why they're worth living their life, which is all about love. Thank you. So we discuss and one, uh, uh, two topic, for one top, top, top two topic, uh, larger than other things is uh, uh, able to be, to able to build the to build trust of caregiver. Uh, second is no financial benefit related, which is the most important that we think the caregiver, uh, the good quality caregiver should have. Other than that, we be, we need to have the empathy, sympathy, patience, compassion, skill, knowledge. The knowledge is start from the since the first day that we know about them, not like how many they live for, for their life, but since the first day that we got to know from the doctor that uh, whatever they say that they are, have to deal with. Uh, team working, because uh, we found out that sometime when we study here, we think that we, we can deal with it. But once we meet the patient really, uh, we may, may not be able to, to deal with, with the, the case like we think we, we can. So the teamwork is really important to go together and then get to know and help people. Um, the sacrifice, the leadership, decision making to, uh, decision making and good listener of patients' needs. 
the good listener is doesn't mean that listen to only the voice, but listen to the body language that sometimes they could not be able to communicate through speaking. So we, we got to understanding of their body language and also when we get there, we don't mislead the, the patients. Like if they, if we get there and they need some way to have people to listen to them, we, we don't just speak ourselves or we're speaking to them, but we sit there to let them speak it out and then fulfill the thing that uh, they need. We don't need to, to speak ahead before then. Uh, communication skills and also some debt uh, certification administration that we need to know and then inform. I think that's all. And we talk about the feeling of trust and sharing. And then we say that love should come from the heart. It's about tenderness. It's about unconditional, unconditional love. And then we start thinking about care. Somebody said that said care. Uh, what 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 kind of care? It's about care to recover, care that the patient are happy. And ah, one important thing is sometimes if we care and we don't have knowledge and skill, we make them die faster, <laughs> earlier, okay? Love uh, toward patient is about trust, respect, it's two-sided, and it's about understanding. Understanding the patient, understand the condition, and understand, it's about two ways to understand, hold, hug, and eye contact. And we talk, talk about how to get home this evening. Thank you very much. <laughs> Well done. Then the last group. Yes. Okay. So our group seems to be very <laughs> practical. So the topic given is care for family members. So we divide the uh, family members, the patient, into three, three types, three groups. So the first group, the patient who are older than us and stubborn. <laughs> but this patient, what the family members can do for him is first to communicate properly and we can't force them. So we have to give kind words to support him. And second is try to be patient with them, trying to be patient with him. And also caretaker has to be relaxed. So we don't need to be too worried about them. Sometimes the patients oh, don't touch me, and then you have to hold and just wait, see like that. <laughs> and then when we cannot talk to them, uh, sometimes we may have to invite uh, his or her, her friends to talk to them because the family members younger, so they won't listen to you. And sometimes, if possible, we change the environment for them. Okay, this is for, and for the second group is the family members who are younger than us and who are suffering. So for these patients, so we should show our kindness to them and we try to be role model to them and also show the role models, the videos or pictures for them and also trying to motivate them by entertaining them. So this is for the younger patients. And those patients who are at our same age. So for this group, so we try to give them and talk with them and share the pain and share the information. Okay, this is what discussed together. Thank you. Well done, well done everyone, all groups. Then important qualities for volunteering and so and so forth. But uh, now I request all the groups Whoever wish to answer the two questions posed by group A, who would like to answer the two questions? He, the group A, the group wants their questions to be answered. The reward is not the positive response from the patient, but the reward should be fulfilled by itself. Once we provide caring, that's, that's, that's it. Okay. 
just to add a little to that, that we should reduce the expectation to even if the patient can like respond to you, you give what you can give. You don't give more than what you can. And don't expect too much from the person and don't expect too much from yourself because that will make you stress. Second question, should we help those who don't want to be helped? A brainstorming, working together, you know, uh, to work as a team. In the process, we also understood, like, you know, all the groups have presented wonderful um, summaries on caring, palliative care, principles of palliative care, needs of the patient, and love and care, uh, how to help families, what is empathy, and so on and so forth. I think uh, this shows that there is a kind of a consensus among all of us that togetherness is very critical, teamwork is another important thing, and of course, we have also discussed uh, all the groups have presented that some important qualities for volunteering. Pairs means like two participants uh, sitting close to each other become a pair and discuss about uh, whether maybe maybe we end up uh, the session with some kind of a deeper understanding of empathy and we uh, continue our journey with that important uh, tool, skill for the journey which you all going to undertake. So it is like a big assert, you know, to uh, be a good volunteer, especially in palliative care. Empathy is very important. So what is empathy? What is needed? And uh, how to show or share or put into practice, uh, I would request uh, uh, maybe we use the outdoor situation where uh, whomever you wish to discuss this with, uh, you can form a pair and someone can sit here, someone can you know walk around and we meet exactly in 10 minutes and everyone has to share, everyone, everyone has to share what Together, you know, as a pair, two people discussed about what is empathy, how you share empathy, how you put empathy in practice. Have you got? Yes. Yeah, we finish exactly at 5 o'clock. So we have 20 minutes in our hand. Do you know how many pairs there are in here? How many pairs we are? Yeah. Um, oh, so what shall we do then? Do you have? Yes. I think that's. Yeah. Maybe you. I think some are expressing difficulty. Some are expressing difficulty. Maybe. So quickly, we work as a team now. We work as a team. What, what we are going to do with the 20 minutes? There's an important thing. Sing a song. Huh? No. So some are suggesting, suggesting as a team. So same teams work on that? 10 minutes? Yes, quickly. Now the time starts. No, we, we will try, we will try. Let's, let's, let's. Now, now, be not the same leader, not the same leader, change the leader. You change the leader in the team.